Spinel is like is my favorite gemstone by far, and I love spinel because it comes in a variety of colors. But the I think the neat thing about spinel is is its crystal uh, habit, which is you can see here the octahedron, which is the same as diamond, and gold, and silver, and copper, and fluorite. So it's it's a cubic structure. And you just end up with this really interesting little crystal. Actually, fluorite doesn't really form in the octahedron, but you see them a lot because they cleave. You also see a mackle like this quite a bit. This is a not only a mackle, but a twinned uh, mackle crystal. And like with diamond, this is the shape that you see these in. So um, it's a cubic structure, it, uh, so you have pretty uniform color throughout. And it's a stone that is not typically heated. There have been some that have been heated, uh, just I think more uh, just by association with trying to heat treat rubies rather than done on purpose. But uh, tip, typically spinel doesn't respond to any kind of heat treatment. It doesn't really improve in color and the crystals don't react well and so you end up breaking the stone anyway. Um, I like the fact that it comes in so many different colors that you've got blues and purples and all these vivid colors from Tanzania. You've got these incredible uh, soft pinks and, and Vietnam's producing these lavender colors. And um, even Brazil has a green spinel, which is extremely rare, but there is green spinel that comes from, from Brazil. So my favorite gem is definitely spinel. And one of the reasons is if you see this, you can see this new material coming out of Tajikistan uh, is so bright and, and clear and this is the same locality, most likely, uh, the Pamir Mountains, where all the famous spinels have come from, as you know, which would be the Timur Ruby and the Black Prince's Ruby and all those that were for so many years misidentified as being Ruby were actually spinel. And I think that's another interesting factor is that, that if had it not been for spinel, Ruby probably wouldn't be as popular today as it is. So just to give you an example of a, a, a variety of spinels, these are all red spinels from Burma. To give you an idea of the, the beauty and size and range of color that you can get. Just like ruby, there, there are this many different reds in ruby that can come from Burma. So you have kind of an orangey red here more of a purplish, more of a pinkish. And then you get things like this, where you get a really super intense, vivid pink, also from Burma. But then you can also get this kind of a purple. And these purples also come from Vietnam. And then what's even more interesting these days for us, for, for jewelry designers, is you can get black spinel and cut it into cabochons like this, or you can cut small melee and use those uh, as an alternative to black diamond. So I think spinel is one of those stones that really provides a broad spectrum of, of possibilities, especially in the future as people are getting, being more and more concerned about treatments. It's an untreated gemstone and it tends to be very clean, so it's definitely my favorite.